Hi, this is Kimberly Owen. I'm part of the accounting team. I'm going to show you how to enter an expense report in NetSuite. So if you go ahead and log into NetSuite on your home dashboard, you will see enter expense report um, right here in blue and you can just go ahead and click that and it will take you to the expense report page. The expense report is going to automatically default to the date you're entering. You always want to keep this date as the date you are entering your time, your expense report. Um, it's not recommended to change this. Um, so I would just keep it as the date you're entering. It's also going to default to your employee name. You can type over here um, anything um, that your purpose of your expense report is. And we're gonna go ahead and skip over advanced to apply. We don't use that unless you're um, getting advanced um, on your expense report. So if you were, you would go ahead and speak to the um, Janet Ellis, uh, the business manager about that. So otherwise you can just go ahead and skip down to the expense a section here. This section is where you will change the date of the actual expense. So I'm going to go ahead and enter expense for um, yesterday um, because I went out to eat with a client. So if you click this little tab over to the categories and click the down arrow for your list of categories. This is where you will see uh, client meals, cost of goods sold per class. So for instance, if you are working on the monitoring team, you will always enter your cost of goods sold for the monitoring group. You can scroll down at any time and choose any of these categories that represent your expense um, that you incurred. So I'm going to go ahead and choose client meals because I had a, a meal with a client yesterday and I spent $100. You'll tab over to client project where you can also uh, click this down arrow and see a list of every single client project. You do not have to be assigned to a project to um, enter an expense for it. Um, this list is, I think, 25, so you will have to um, choose this little arrow to go to the next 25 um, to view. So, and then, of course, there's a last page because we have a lot of projects. So, um, I will go ahead and choose the project that I um, is related to this. There, if there is not a project related to this, just go ahead and skip over that. So if you were having a, just a client meal with somebody uh, that is not related to any sort of project, um, you can go ahead and skip over that, but please talk to your manager about what project is related to anything that you expense because we do have projects set up for um, spectrum such as sales and marketing, admin, um, any lab. So there are those projects too that you would be able to choose. And then the project task related to the project, you would, you would have list here. Obviously, I'm not going to have one because I'm not choosing a project. Um, but you know what, after thinking about it, I am going to go ahead and choose a spectrum project because I do want to go ahead and um, link this to the admin project. And then I would choose my task. And this is grayed out because this is the uh, pulled from the employee record. Go ahead and enter your memo of whatever you did or um, whatever the expense is. If you, um, I, had a flight, I would go ahead and enter my flight information or uh, fuel mileage information, any memo that pertains to that. So I'm just going to say had lunch um, and then tab over. These pull from your employee records. So they are changeable, but we do not recommend that you change any of these 
um, department, class, or location. If you have any questions on those, please reach out to the accounting team and we can assist you with that. But these are pulled from your employee records, so there's no need to change them. And then if you tab over to the attach file, this is where you can attach your receipt. We do um, require receipts for all expense reports. And so the best um, version of a receipt is a PDF. And the reason that the PDF is recommended is because it looks good. Um, it's not a picture that um, can be zoomed in or um, the resolution. Um, every camera is different. So we do recommend and um, request that you attach only PDFs to your expense reports. And to do that is simply have the PDF saved on your computer. When you tab over to this section, you're gonna hit the plus sign and that will bring up that you're attaching it from your computer. You're gonna choose your file and find your PDF and hit open and save. That will attach that PDF to this line. And it's gonna go ahead and display that yes, you do have a receipt attached. Now, if you hit add, that is gonna go ahead and add that expense line to your expense report. You can continue to add, um, change the date here to whatever um, the next expense line is. And you can go ahead and choose whatever it is and com complete everything um, as we had just talked about. And then you keep adding and if you need to make any changes, you can go back and click on that line and you can remove or make any changes at any time. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that line. And I do wanna show you also that you can use the uh, make copy feature here too. If you're entering multiple lines that have the same project and task, you can just go ahead and copy that, but you would have to change the category or memo and receipt if those were different. If they're the same, you can continue to just keep adding. So that is all for entering your expense report. You'll see the amount up here. I'm not gonna actually save this expense report, but um, once you are done entering your expense report, you will click save and then there'll be a button that says submit. You have to submit your expense report um, in order to be reimbursed. So um, you'll see it right up here, right after you click save. If um, you need to make any changes to your expense report, you will need to contact the business manager to make any changes. Um, otherwise you can just go ahead and submit another expense report if you left something out. Um, so that's it. I'm going to go ahead and just go back to my dashboard and um, because I'm not going to actually enter that expense report. So thank you. Um, 